Git and GitHub. These two terms keep coming up everywhere if you are in college or from a tech background. And because they sound almost the same, most beginners end up mixing them without even noticing. Everything feels normal until the day you actually start learning to code and your professor suddenly says, share the GitHub link. So you decide to understand GitHub. You open a tutorial and before the instructor even explains anything, they start typing commands like git init, git add, git commit, git push, one after the another. And now you are confused. I came here to learn GitHub, so why am I seeing git commands? Are git and GitHub the same thing or completely different? Do I need to install both? Is one offline and another online? Why do developers use them together? What problems do they actually solve? These questions are absolutely normal. Every student faces this phase. Every beginner feels this confusion. You are not alone. So in this video, we'll make the entire concept simple and clear. From definition to demonstration, we'll understand what Git does on your computer, what GitHub does online, and how both work together in real projects. Whether you are working on your first college assignment or building your foundation in tech. By the end of this video, Git versus GitHub will finally make sense and you will feel confident using both of them. Now to really understand them, we first need to know why they even exist in the first place. Let's start with the root problem they solve, version control. Let's understand version control with the help of an example. Imagine you are writing a college assignment with your friend. Let's call you P1 and your friend P2. Now P1 starts the assignment, saves it as a1.docs. Later, P1 makes some changes, saves it again as a1 final docs. Then P2 downloads that file, adds their part, saves it again as a1 final updated docs. When P1 edits it again, they save it as finally a1 last real final docs. Now you have four versions already and the project hasn't even finished. Both P1 and P2 start asking the same questions. Which file is the latest one? Did you edit the same paragraph I was editing? Why is your version different from my version? Suddenly, you're scrolling through 10 files, comparing, checking, merging changes manually, and hoping nothing got deleted. This is exactly where version controls comes in. With version control, you don't create 10 different files. You create one file, and the system automatically saves every change you and your teammate make. Instead of making new files, renaming files, or losing track of the latest version, Version controls keep a clean timeline of changes. It tells you who changed what, when it was changed, why it was changed, and if something breaks and someone makes a mistake, you can simply go back in time to any previous version with one click. So instead of creating 10 messy files, version control gives you one organized file with a complete history of everything that has ever happened to it. Version control is simply a system that tracks every change you have made saves every version you have worked on, lets you go back in the time, lets multiple people work together safely. If something breaks, you don't panic, you just restore the previous version. If your teammate changes something, you don't override their work, you merge it safely. It's basically a tool that brings order to teamwork and updates. So now that you have understood why version control is needed, let's move to the tool that does it best, Git. What is Git? Git is a version control system, a tool installed on your computer that tracks your project's changes. Whenever you update a file, you can take a snapshot that we call a commit. Now, Git allows you to save versions of your code, means it can save many different versions, commits of your code. Compare changes between those commits. Experiment using branches. You can create branches to safely experiment with new features or fixes without messing up the main, working different versions of your project undo your mistake and revert back to the stable commit. Merge work from different people. It allows multiple people to work on the same project simultaneously. Git helps combine their different contributions into one unified project. And all of this happens locally on your computer. You neither need the internet, nor the server, not even an account. Git works offline and stores everything directly on your system. So if Git is a tool, what is GitHub? That's where the next piece comes in. Now that Git handles everything on your computer, the next challenge is sharing and collaborating. Enter GitHub, the online home for your Git projects. Now here's what people get confused in. Git is a tool, GitHub is a platform. Git lives on your computer and helps you track every version locally, whereas GitHub lives on the internet and helps you share them. Just like Google Drive stores your documents online, GitHub stores your Git repositories online. It allows you to upload your Git project, 
back it up safely share it with your team collaborate with others review the code report issues work from anywhere let's quickly walk through what using git and github actually feels like so now let's check everything with a simple demonstration to implement git i'm using a simple uh, application that is your git bash okay and for your basic github will be trying with a github account let's just start with your basic git bash commands okay first of all let's just make a simple folder okay first of all let me just come to the desktop so i can show you guys that what all things are happening here so i'm simply typing a command cd desktop okay so i can show you everything that is uh, working live here after that let me just make a simple uh, directory or folder that you'd say in your windows sessions okay that is your git 001 okay now as i've created this account you can see that yes uh, there is a file that is displayed over here okay now we'll be working with this file we'll be putting some files into it and we'll be pushing those files into your github account okay let me just show you step by step how do we do it now that we have created some files uh, let me just first of all go in, uh, inside this folder that is your git 001 okay yeah now let me just put some files in it now these are the basic linux commands okay now you can see that if i open this folder manually you can see that there are some files that has been pushed there okay now this is your basic git now that we are working with git now first of all we have to initialize the git how do we do it simply git init okay when we do it our git is initialized you can see here initialize empty git repository in your basic path where your basic file is present okay that is your git 001 now let me just show you what actually your git does okay what it does it just it's a version control system right now if i just do git status to check what all files are tracked like we are tracking the files we are doing that thing in the version control so you can see that none of the files are not right now tracked that is your f1 f2 f3 that are inside your git 001 folder okay now if i want to track these files i have to use a simple command that you can see here that is called your git add okay along with the file name now let me just show you how you can do it one by one and how you can do all completely so first of all is your git add let me just do f1 first okay hit enter and let's just check the status now git status that only f1 is tracked right now okay f2 and f3 are still untracked so let me just show you another command with your like git add only just do git add give it a space and do a simple dot what does this represent basically that your entire files whatever are present inside those folder it is being tracked now okay so hit enter now let's just check it using its status see all your files are tracked after your files are tracked or you can say they are staged that we could say in your git uh, language so if they are staged they are tracked now you can they are ready to be committed okay now what is commit in your manual format in your github that will be covering in the next session okay first of all let's just commit it simple command git commit hyphen m basically we are just using this flag to put a flag to it like we are using for message okay let me just give it the name first commit now you can see that yes there is a create mode of your like different commit ids it has been committed so if i wish to see that what all commits are there these are the commits where your entire version will be stored okay so simple command git log now you can see only one commit is made here okay for now if i wish to uh, do another commit like let me just put another file that is your tech a1 now okay and let me just add this as well and let me commit it with a different command that is your different message sorry guys that is your second commit okay now if i hit enter now if i do git log you'll be seeing some changes see first of all we have two commit ids now because we committed two times first one was our f1 f2 f3 and the second commit was our a1 now you'll be seeing that your head that is your master that is pointed towards your master towards your latest commit the last commit that you made okay so that will be the simple thing that you will be every commit that you are making every changes that you are doing it will be stored in some different commits okay and your commit id will be different for the each commit but your head it will be only pointing towards your the latest commit okay now that we have understood what is the basic demonstration of git using git bash let just move towards your github now this is what a github accounts look like you can simply create your own github account using your simple like credentials like your email and stuff okay but this is what a interface or you can say the home page looks like now if you wish to create a new repository where we'll be just pushing our changes or doing some changes it is basically with this green button that you can see on the top left corner simply click on it create a new repository okay give it any name let me just give it my first git okay 
correct it is available or git 001 because this was our file name now you don't have to give any description or any readme file or stuff simply just click on create repository now that we have created you can see over here that there is a link that is provided here now we'll see how git and your github works together like for your git i'm using a local on my system that is your git bash okay now let's check how these two works together first command or the very first thing that i'll use to link both of them that is your git remote add origin what i'm actually trying to do with this is basic this command will be linking my git with my github now i'll be needing this url that is the url of my uh, current repository so i'll simply copy it and i'll paste it here git remote add origin and simply paste it here enter now that we have done this what we have done we have connected our local git which we were using uh, git bash to our remote repository that is your basically github okay now what we will try to do whatever the files we had in this see we had a1 f1 f2 and f3 we'll try to push these changes here but before i'll do that i'll just tell you how you can do it manually in your github okay you can see over here there is an option that is your create a new file or upload an existing one correct what you can simply do just click on create a new file okay it is just a manual way so since it is manual i'll be just giving it a full name that will be your like file one okay now i can basically do it manually as well using your simple github account but i want to just push all the changes that are being done on my local repository so i am using git for that okay so with github also you can do it simply just click on commit changes commit it that we are doing using the git commit command we are doing it manually here now you can see that there is one file here one more important thing that you can see that there are some branches okay first of all we have only the main branch here so whenever we are pushing those files to it we have to make sure whether we are pushing it to main or master because kind of both are the same things but you should be clear about it which uh, branch there is in your github account okay so now what we'll try to do we'll try to push these files here simple command it will be your git push origin master okay so now that we have pushed it to master branch okay it is a simple thing that our master will also be created along with it now you can see if i just simply refresh it you will be to able to see that there is a master that has been made and it has been pushed with it okay if you wish to do it with main master it's your wish but uh, whatever the branch that you will be referring here in your git bash it will be pushed to that only okay so now if i just see it in your master you can see all the branches are there that is your a1 f1 f2 f3 okay so all the things have been pushed here correctly so this was how you can just simply connect both of your git and github okay and simply whatever the files that you will be trying to push here it will push to the branch that you wish to push it in okay if i just try to create a new branch like this you can just do it like that as well okay simply just i'll be just having some different command that is your git branch develop maybe okay simply i'm just creating this file and now what i'm doing i'm just pushing this branch there okay git push so simply when i'll be just refreshing it you can see there is one more branch that is created that is your develop now these are the simple tricks and tricks that you can do with your basic uh, git and github commands okay so this was all for the demonstration part how you can simply just connect your local git with your remote repository that is your github and how you can just push simply changes you can also do it manually but what are the benefits that we have in your git that is locally stored on your laptop or your system and how you can simply push it to the main version that is your github okay so that was all for the demonstration part i hope now the git and github confusion is much more clear to you guys and that's the complete picture this knowledge forms the foundation of modern software development master git understand github and you are no longer just writing code you are building software the way the world does today once you get both right every project becomes clearer smoother and so much more fun to build so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one